A first for NASA today. Its first asteroid samples fetched all the way from deep space landed back on Earth today in the Utah desert. This was the end of a seven-year journey. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft made a flyby of Earth and released the capsule today, and it came down on a remote expanse of military land. Not without its excitement. The parachute opened four times higher than expected. It still landed successfully, though, carrying about a cup's worth of pebbles and dust from the asteroid Bennu. Those pebbles, 4.5 billion years old, and scientists are hoping that they'll reveal clues about the birth of our solar system and life here on Earth. But speaking of Bennu, NASA also releasing an ominous date, saying that there is a chance the asteroid could hit Earth in the future. It passes about every six years. The past three flybys have been close encounters. Well, NASA now calculating it could hit Earth with the force of at least 24 nuclear bombs but not until the year 2182. And they say the odds are slim, still about 2,700 to 1. We do want to bring in renowned astrophysicist and author Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson now. So good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us here on News Nation. Thanks for having me back. Neil, yeah. there's so much to get to. Let's start with Bennu. Um, I know there's a lot of excitement and a huge congrats goes to the whole team of engineers and the scientists who successfully brought that 4.5 billion year old sample back. I do want to ask that date, generating a lot of headlines for Bennu possibly hitting Earth 2182. Do we have the technology we need to deal with an asteroid coming towards Earth? We do in the movies, for sure. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Bruce Willis will save us all. Oh, boy. <clears throat> no. Uh, so first of all, Bennu is one of thousands of asteroids whose orbit crosses that of Earth. And NASA has a very high priority program to track those asteroids. Of course, it's high priority. But that just gives us the knowledge that it might hit, but not the power to do anything about it. Mm. It seems to me that 160 years in the future, that's a plenty long enough time, lead time, to say, hey, Let's you even though the chance is only one in about 3000, let's use this as a reason to develop a defense program where we would deflect the asteroids. And by the way, no, you don't want to blow movies, want to blow them up. Uh, but the, a kinder, gentler way is you deflect it either ahead of us or behind us in its orbit crossing of Earth. And so. One thing you need to know to be successful there is what is the structural integrity of the rock? In recent decades, we have learned that some asteroids are just kind of loosely held together rubble piles. And that's a curious fact. So, so if you try to push it in one section, that piece could break off, leaving the other piece unscathed and still on its way towards Earth. Yikes. So in this sample return, which is almost a, a, a kilograms worth of material, it would have been happy with just a few grams. It got a whole kilogram, about uh, half a pound of, of, of Bennu rock and dust. Oh, by the way, I got to slip in here. This, this craft left Earth itself a moving platform to intersect Bennu, a moving target. It did a touch and go grabbed material in that process, continued back to Earth, deployed the capsule so that it drops in a secure space in Utah on a rotating Earth, and the capsule went on to go to another asteroid. It's amazing. It's it amazing. Just, uh, it boggles the it, mind. And yet I really, the I need the, them to figure out the second part, though, Neil, of, of deflecting the thing so it doesn't hit. <laughs> I really need them to figure that out. And, I, we well, all do, but 150 years, that ought to be enough time okay, I hope so. to figure this out. You know, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.